everyone, thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some mica lines in melt and pour soap. Um, one of the first things that I did though was I cut down this mat that I bought at the um, Goodwill and I just fit it into my mold because I wanted the top design of this to be a little bit different. So I thought it would be really pretty. And I just kind of measured it up to the side of my mold and cut it where it needed to be cut it. For this particular soap, I just went ahead and used goat's milk soap from Crafter's Choice. It's a really good base and I've liked it so far. Um, I did go ahead and spritz my mold. I didn't put any rubbing alcohol on the other side of that, but to start the ombre effect on the soap, I melted down all the soap that I was going to need for the day and then I just added a little bit of fragrance oil to it so I could get the first color poured. And I went the lightest color to the darkest color because it's easier that way when you're adding colors. You basically just keep adding more colorant and less soap throughout to get a nice ombre effect. I also was using the Hibiscus Palm from Candle Science for the fragrance oil. It is probably one of my favorite floral scents that I've come across in a very long time. Um, it's very fruity and it just smells super clean. It's not overpowering floral though either. And I forgot to show you but on the side of my mold I did kind of just draw with a permanent marker some little hash marks so I would know where about to pour each layer of the soap. While I waited for the soap to harden up a little bit I went ahead and started prepping for the mica line and um, basically what you do is just get the color mica that you want and add a little bit of rubbing alcohol to it so that way um, it's easy to spread on the top of each layer of soap. And this one I just chose a nice pink shimmer because I thought it would go good with the purple and white color scheme and I just kind of swirled it around a little bit to make sure that it was fully mixed. I would recommend if you're going to be waiting to have a cap and lid so that all the alcohol doesn't evaporate and then you would have to start all over again. Um, once the soap had a little bit of a thin layer of skin, you're able to paint. If you want to wait for it to get a little thicker, you can. Um, but then I just went ahead and started painting um, the top layer or the layer that I just poured down in between each one. I just kind of waited till it got hard enough. For the next step, I went ahead and I added just a little scoop of the ultraviolet mica from Nurture Soap and I just did one tiny little scoop each time. Normally what I do is I um, melt the mica down with the melt and pour soap and it kind of helps it mix in a little bit quicker but since I wanted to start with the white base, I just went ahead and mixed it as best as I could to start off with. And then as it needed it, I would just kind of do a little spritz of rubbing alcohol to help disperse the mica. One other tip that I want to add is while I was waiting for each layer to harden up in the mold, I did keep the actual container that had the soap base in it that still needed to be poured in the microwave. I didn't keep the microwave on or anything like that. I just kept it in the microwave so that the soap would stay warmer and not um, thicken up as quickly because I didn't want to have to reheat it a whole bunch since I've already added the fragrance oil to the soap. Another tip that I wanted to add is when I poured this later, you'll notice I didn't wait long enough for the actual rubbing alcohol and mica solution to dry enough before I started pouring the layer. So it did kind of cause the um, colorant to kind of disperse and you can tell when I actually cut the soap later that there is areas where the mica looks like it's missing and I think it's just because it's, those are the spots where I poured the soap actually onto the mold. If I would have waited probably about another 
30 seconds to a minute for it to evaporate all the alcohol, it probably wouldn't have gotten that look. After the soap had been sitting for probably about three to four hours, I went ahead and popped it out of the mold. It was a little bit trickier. I don't know. It was just because part of the um, mat that I put down kind of got stuck in there. So anyway, once I popped that out, I did go ahead and paint the top with the mica solution. My brush was still pretty wet, so I didn't add any extra rubbing alcohol this time. I just went ahead and kind of stirred it in the container I had and then applied it and then cleaned up the edges where I could. So after I painted the top, I just went ahead and let the soap sit an extra 20 to 30 minutes just to make sure that the soap actually had time to um, let the rubbing alcohol evaporate off the top and that way the mica that I painted on the top wouldn't bleed through to all the other layers of the soap. Overall, I'm happy and pleased with the way it turned out and just like I said, there's just a few tips that I know next time when I make the soap, I'll keep an eye out for. Thanks for watching.